Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, for those who haven't read Sophie's booklet, I'm Mike, obviously Sophie's dad. I'd like to welcome everyone to this beautiful wedding celebration and say how much of a pleasure it is to welcome Neil and his parents, Tony and Ruth, to the family. I stand here today feeling incredibly proud of my daughter and for her journey to this moment. It hasn't always been an easy road, with a number of bumps in the road. She's faced every challenge and I believe she's come out stronger for it. She's shown strength, determination and resilience throughout. In doing so has given myself and Belinda two beautiful grandchildren, Oscar and Amelia. It's been three years in the making, this uh, planning of the wedding, although they've been together for seven years. Lots of last minutes running around. Neil has uh, spent most of his time nodding his head and saying, yes, Sophie, we'll have that. Yes, Sophie, we'll have that. Most of the uh, praise for organising today should go to Sophie for her hard work, attention to detail, meticulous planning, and loads of stress from both me, well, my wife, and everybody involved. I did have a long list of advice for Neil, but um, since they've been together for seven years, living with Sophie, I think some of it he already knows. But I'll mention some of it. Sophie will always be right. Everything will be your fault, and you'll never win an argument. The last word in an argument will always be from Sophie, I think this one you know. <laughs> uh, a man who gives in when he is wrong is a wise man, but a man who gives in when he's right is married. <laughs> There's no challenge in a marriage that cannot be overcome by the following three word sentence. These are, I was wrong, you were right, I love you. <laughs> and remember those in two invaluable words, yes. ask you to raise your glasses, I'd like to say a couple of thank you messages. Firstly to my daughter and her husband for making me the happiest, proudest father around today. Sophie, I love you and I hope that you and Neil will have a wonderful, loving, happy life together. And to Neil, please take good care of my daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me as I wish the bride and groom all the happiness in the world. Bride and groom. I, Neil Simon Andrews. I, Neil Simon Andrews. Take you, Sophie Belinda Bayliss. Take you, Sophie Belinda Bayliss. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Thank you. I, Sophie Belinda Bayliss. I, Sophie Belinda Bayliss. Take you, Neil Simon Andrews. Take you, Neil Simon Andrews. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Thank you all for coming. Firstly, Sophie, you look absolutely beautiful today and you've done an amazing job organising this wedding. Thank you for putting up with me for the past seven and a half years and agreeing to marry me. In my early 20s, I spent pretty much every weekend in Wellesley and Romford. It was so bad, I used to joke, that's where I'd meet my wife and that's where I met Sophie. <laughs> At first, I thought she only liked me because she fancied my friend Smithy, but as she's told me many times since, back then I used to have muscles, so she did like me after all. I also had a lot less grey hair, and I was in a band, as a lot of you know. <laughs> Thank you to Sophie's parents, Mike and Belinda, and my parents, Ruth and Tony, for all your support for us, first as a couple, and now as a family. A special mention to the flower girls, Amelia, Isabel, 
and Olivia. <laughs> I looked in the wrong order. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna go and they're sitting in the wrong order. Sorry, that's my fault. And also to our ring security slash page boys, Oscar and Theo. Also, thank you to the maid of honor, Nicola, and the best man, Jonathan Wang, who has put plasters on my feet today because I'm a bit sore. He has stepped up. He's also changed the baby snappy. <laughs> The first time that I really knew that I liked Sophie, I won't say love at this point, but the first time I knew that Sophie might be the one, we went to Miller and Carter for our first date. They had a money off voucher on their website. I love a voucher, I hate paying full price. <laughs> and I was sitting at work all day saying, I want to use this voucher, I can't look like a cheapskate. I want to use this voucher, I can't look like a cheapskate. In the end, I thought, no, I've got to pay full price. I've got to try to impress her. The bill comes, she pulls the voucher out. <laughs> Anyway, after weeks of finally pestering her, she gave in and here we are, many years later, as, and two children later, as husband and wife. Finally, could I ask you all to raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Sophie. Thank you for making an honest man of me and thank you for our two beautiful children for being a great mother and partner. Neil and Sophie, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, witnesses and guests gathered here today. This is the first day of your new married life together and we all hope it will be filled with much love and happiness. So it therefore gives me the greatest of pleasures to announce that you are husband and wife and Neil, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Yeah.